11 Alive an investigation on Monday. We told you about two parents accused of abusing their newborn, but today the family insists there is a medical explanation for the child's injuries. 11 Alive investigator Rebecca Lindstrom joins us now. So Rebecca, the kids are not home, but there is some good news. We call our investigation help that harms because of the roadblocks parents face to get that second medical opinion that they need to try to prove their innocence and get their children back. But this case goes even a step further. Matt and Taki Hernandez were not allowed to speak or spend time together outside of court. All of that, though, changed last night when a Forsyth County judge agreed Taki could come home. And we were there as the couple comforted each other for the first time in 10 months. I asked them who had been impacted most by their separation and their answer, their four-year-old daughter. If I had an honest answer, I would say Aria. Because she's the one that we can't even tell, you know, what's going on. We can't explain what's going on. But she constantly asked for her mom and dad and we have not been able to find any allegations that exist right now of abuse against their oldest child, Aria, even though the Department of Family and Children's Services removed her from the home as well. Now, this all started when the parents had taken their baby into Children's Hospital to figure out why she had some unusual swelling on her leg. That is when doctors found several bone fractures. A national organization, You Are the Power, has started a letter campaign asking the governor to review cases like the Hernandez's. To learn more about these families, visit our website, 11alive.com.